G'day guys, this video is on testing the hot water cylinder element. You may need to do this when your water stopped heating. Uh, it's part of the process electricians go through to diagnose what exactly has gone wrong uh, in your hot water setup. I'll be doing a video soon on um, how to actually go through the whole process of, of eliminating and finding out exactly what is playing up on your hot water circuit. So first thing we'll do is we'll whip the cover off, flick the cylinder switch off if you haven't already. So when you're going to work on a hot water cylinder, first thing you want to do, flick the switch off, then go to the switchboard and pull the water heater fuse out. We'll test that the power's dead once we've got this cover off. There'll be a couple of screws on either side, as you can probably see on here. Uh, that's usually the story. Alrighty. So now we've got the cover off, see this white stuff here, don't go cutting into it or anything, this stuff here is asbestos material, uh, it's not that common on cylinders, uh, you don't tend to come across it, but this here is the thermostat, and then further around here, this here is the element, and in this video this is what we'll be testing. So first thing you want to do is ensure that the power here is dead, now to do that you might want to get a non-contact volt stick out. Put it on the cable and just see if it's bleeping. Uh, go turn the go turn the mains off, all that sort of rustle. But for this video, I'll show you guys how to make sure it's properly isolated. Throw it on volts AC, which is that V with the squiggly line symbol. Wait till your meter zeroes out. Now I'll hang this. Oh, I might actually sit that there. This one does have a light on it, which is pretty cool. There we go, now we can see. Now if the black lead, what I'll do is I'll throw that on the earth somewhere on here. Probably test off the earth pin on the element there. Always make sure ele your element's got an earth bond on it. If it doesn't, I'd recommend installing one on there. Right, next thing, get the red one and we'll stick it on the cable that supplies the thermostat here, not the one going out of it because the one going out of it might be dead because it might have reached temperature already. So stick it on the input one. So you can see the input one is the one, the red cable that goes down and all the way down to the switch here. Now, have a look what your meter says. This says the circuit's 230 volts, it's live. So what we'll do is, and you can hear the element heating. It's just come on now. What we'll do is flip the uh, isolator off and check our meter, zero volts. So once you've got the isolator off, put a bit of sticky tape over it, make sure you don't accidentally turn it on. Go to your switchboard, locate the fuse that says water heating, hot water cylinder, whatever, and rip it out. So for the next part, you can test a good element with the lead still attached. If you want to get a definitive result on a stuffed element, you can remove these two and when you reattach them, don't even worry, it doesn't even matter what side you put the red one in and the black one in, they can alternate anyway. First of all, you want to set your meter on ohms, it's that ohm symbol there and it should say OL. Test that your meter's working, grab your leads stick them together and it should show 0.0, .0 or close to. So what you do is put red lead on one side, black lead on the other, see what the result is, 25 ohms, that's perfectly fine. If you see anything other than between say 15 and 30 ohms or thereabouts, if you see killer ohms, mega ohms, open loop, you might want to take these two cables off the element, retest it, then you know that the element's buggered, you have to drain the hot water cylinder and rip the element out. Uh, to do that you'll need an element key to get these out, they're only about 30 bucks. I won't be showing you how to replace an element in this video, but I might do later on. So in this instance where my element tests fine, but I've still got no hot water, backtrack, look at the thermostat, see if that's faulty, look at the isolator, see if that's burned out. Go back to the switchboard, make sure the fuse is okay, and then if it's on night rate, 
um, or if there's some odd voltages coming down the lines it will tell you that the ripple relay is gone I'll go through the whole sequence of diagnosing hot water cylinder faults um, in a single video at some point so keep an eye out for that one smash the cover back on throw this back on once you've done that you can safely liven her back up there's a quick demonstration on a bad element and what to expect from one so obviously that there will be the end bit screwed into the hot water cylinder set our multimeter onto ohms and it should just say ol do the same test as usual so put the ends of the prongs together make sure it zeroes in pull this cap off and obviously we'll test between both of these terminals here terminal screws are missing but as you can see a bad reading on the meter here the meter is showing 400 color ohms and it keeps counting up this element is buggered and so once the element's replaced once you pull it out of your cylinder you can then most of the time visually see the damage so you can see how damaged this one is 